Okay, this is how to set up the DX8 radio and the DX7 radio for the Champ S Plus from Hobby Zone. Now I've got the manual right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on the radio. And I'm just going to follow the instructions, although they don't have these type of radios. They have the Gen 2 radios in there, the DX7, DX8, Gen 2, but they don't have these older ones. But I'm kind of using the instructions. So the first thing you got to do is look right here, and you'll see you need Channel 5 is going to be for the flight modes, and Channel 6, which is all called AUX1, is for the button. Okay, so that's what we got to just follow that. Now we can kind of go down through here. So the directions first say that you should either start with a blank model or do a model reset on a current model. So let's do that first and then we'll go down through here and do the steps. Alright, so first thing we do is pick a model and we can do that by pressing these two buttons. These two buttons simultaneously. Pick a model go in that model. Now what we need to do is reset the model. Now going down through the menus there is no reset model in the main screen. So what you got to do is get into the system menu. Alright, so I'm going to turn the radio off, hold down the roller button, and turn the radio back on. Okay, now I can go down and find reset model. There it is, it's called model reset. Enter that. Scroll over to reset. Scroll over to yes. And the model is reset. And now, before we can give it a name, we have to go and pick, as the direction says right here, we have to go in system setup and pick model type airplane. Uh, we're, all, we're already in the system setup, so let's just go model type here. Let me get this radio back in here. Model type. Go in. Make sure it's on airplane. So you can scroll back and forth between helicopter and airplane. Just make sure it's blinking on airplane. Press enter. Scroll over to yes. And you're done. Okay, now the next thing we can do is while we're in system setup is we can give it a name. So we can just go in here and I'll just quickly give that a C there. Alright, so we got that. Now just scroll up here to back. And we're still in system setup. And while we're in there we need to go to the switch select. Go right here to switch select. Trying to keep it in, in the monitor there. Okay, switch select. Now, we need to make the flight mode switch. That's this switch right here. Go to the gear channel, which is gear 5. Well, gear is already being used by the gear right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and inhibit it. That frees it up. So now we can go back to flight mode right here and set that on gear. Okay, so now the flight mode switch is going to gear. All right, now we need the AUX1 to go to the trainer up here. Well, the AUX1 is being used by flap, so we'll inhibit AUX1 on flap and then just go ahead and put it on trainer like that. And that's all we need to do, except we need to reverse AUX1 as well. So let's get out of this menu. And back to the main menu. Because we have to get, like the directions say, it says go to servo setup and reverse AUX1. So we need to get to, oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> go back to, alright, go back to the, the main menu. Alright. and go to servo setup which is the top one right here getting the radio off the screen again sorry okay and then go down to the reverse function and then find aux one here 
and then reverse it. And that's all there is to it. Go back to list, go back to main screen, and you are done. So that, that's all there is to setting it up. Now we're just going to take the radio outside with the Champ S Plus and just test it to make sure the switch works for the flight modes and the button works for the HP, which is called holding pattern. But when we press this button, it should fly back to us and circle overhead, kind of like a return to home. That's the holding pattern. So we'll try that and see what happens. Not going to try auto land this time. But that's all there is to setting up the DX8, and the DX7 should work the same way. Now the controls don't work right now because it hasn't got a GPS lock yet. So we have to wait for it to get a satellite lock. To get enough satellites. Okay, it's got a GPS lock now, supposedly. I'll just wait a little bit longer, make sure I got enough satellites. But, um... Yeah, this is called holding pattern. I like to just call it return to home because it's supposed to fly home and then circle overhead at about, I think it was 60 feet high. But this is the button that's supposed to do it. So this is a DX8, and I've programmed this switch, the flight mode switch, for the three flight modes. And this is supposed to be for the two functions of uh, HP and the AL, I think it's called auto landing. HB is that holding pattern. AL is auto landing. But I'm going to try holding pattern just to find out if the button's even working. Now the AX, AS3X is operating and GPS is operating. Well, let's just fly it around here. So it's not windy today, and we can do some gentle flying on low throttle. And there it goes. So I'm going to get it down here a little bit. All right, let's just go hit the button and see what happens. It turned right around, and now it's headed back. That was quick. All right, now it's overhead. Yeah, it's circling. I'm looking backwards from where I was. Yeah, it's just circling around. It's got a pretty aggressive throttle on that. I guess in case there's wind or something, it has to have a pretty aggressive throttle. It's right overhead, definitely. I'm looking straight up. And it's just going in a circle. Now, when it comes around again, I'm going to press this button to see if I can stop it. Okay? As soon as I hit the button, it stopped. And now I've got control again. So it's interesting, uh, it went to the right when I press the button. Let's see if I'm going left and I press the button, what happens? Well, that time, it still went to, it went to the left that time. So it goes whatever way it can get back the quickest. And now it's doing that again. I'm going to let it go half a spin, and I'm going to press the button, and it flips right back out of it. So it works pretty good. So I know I've got the buttons programmed right. Oh, yeah, I haven't tried the mode, so I'm in... Uh, beginner mode now. Let's switch it into e intermediate. Okay, that's intermediate. And now I can feel already I got more control. I don't really need to use the rudder anymore. I've got a lot of aileron control. Up and down works good, so you can see I'm all over the place. All right, now let's go back to beginner. And now it, I can give it a lot of throw on the uh, aileron, and it just doesn't do much because it's in that beginner mode. Now if I go to the intermediate again, now I've got a lot of control again. I can really come around. But you can always use the rudder if you're in beginner mode to steer it. Because it isn't, it isn't as affected as much by the flight mode. So the rudder still has a lot of authority. Okay, let's put it in, uh, let's get it around here and put it in the mode three, which is the more aggressive mode. Okay, that's mode three there. I've got a lot of control now. It's still not a 3D plane or anything, but got a lot of control. 
Okay, so the modes and everything work. I'm going to go back to beginner mode. What about the auto land part of it? The auto land, you're supposed to hold the button for like uh, uh, four or five seconds and it's supposed to auto land. I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to try the auto land because I should have thrown it the other direction for auto land because right now it thinks it's going to auto land from behind me and there's nothing but trees back there. Oh, that's out. That's acting like the fence is on. It's not supposed to be on though. Okay, so I'm coming in. Here we go. For some reason the prop. There we go. So we made it back and we know all the switches work. That's the main thing. There it is right there. 